What's up guys, this is Yinling uh, slash Lambda Viking from Snowy Dev bringing you another video and this is actually in um, one of our old series um, programming tutorials. I'm bringing you another Python tutorial and you may notice I'm using this sort of bummy interface. Um, this is actually a website where you can type Python and compile it online. Um, the reason I have to do this is because like I, I use Fraps to record all my videos and sadly uh, Fraps only recognizes OpenGL um, windows to record and like a Python command line or something does not use OpenGL so it's hard to record Python but I felt like you know what why not just add another video to the series despite these technical issues um, you know, maybe I'll make some kind of interface that we can use in the future if you guys want. But anyway, back to this video. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to use the lambda expression in Python. Um, lambda is sort of a weird, nuanced thing, but it's it's very important for high-level Python programming, and it allows you to write very concise um, programs. So, just a little background, lambda is the Greek letter L, um, and in mathematics, it basically, whenever you hear it, it it's often associated with functions. Um, there's a thing called lambda calculus, which is like a notation system for writing functions that inspires a lot of computer science. Alright guys, so, time to get to an example of how to use lambda in Python. So, consider this simple uh, program here. Basically it defines a function get sum of two integers x and y and then it prints out um, the sum of 5 and 4. Um, you should all be familiar with this. Um, it's pretty basic. So how would we replicate this using a lambda expression rather than the um, straightforward def function uh, declaration? Basically um, we get rid of this and we say get sum equals lambda x comma y x plus y. Now one thing which you can immediately see, um, the name of the function goes first, like it's this looks sh should look very familiar if you've ever used a variable, which you definitely have. Um, and then you have this keyword lambda followed by the arguments colon and then basically the expression that gets returned um, so this is it's, it's a lot like a mathematical function um, where you basically have a formula um, which uses inputs and uh, returns something right now um, the difference here like s some functions cannot be expressed this way in Python like any function that has a side effect um, you know, can't be expressed this way because you you can't actually run like a, a, a co an imperative command here. It's really just an expression that gets evaluated. But anyway, back to the the program. Let's run this, and we see we get nine, which is the sum of five and four. Um, yeah. So this may look sort of weird um, because you're used to thinking of functions with like parentheses and yeah, whatever. But uh, if you consider that in Python everything is an object and everything um, can be really accessed with this equal sign, then it makes a lot more sense. So basically, like even normal functions, which you define with def, can be accessed this way um, in an expression. Just a quick example of that. Let's go back to what we had. Def get sum x comma y return x plus y. So before we could say, we could actually say this print get sum with no call, right? And we'll actually print out the function object. Um, it should print alright, well it should print out the function object. Sadly this online Python compiler is pretty lame. So let's just ignore that. But yeah, that's that sort of explains how this works. Um, it's sort of combining or making functions more Pythonic um, because they're objects. Um, another thing which we can explore is that you probably realize by now uh, 
if you have a lambda function, it doesn't actually have to be named, which is an interesting concept. Just like you can have an expression like five or some string, uh, which you can print out or like use, uh, but not actually name. Like by naming, I mean like you know x equals whatever. So just an example of that, we can basically say print lambda x comma y x plus y and this is the get sum function which we were uh, exploring before and then after that this is the function object itself so we don't want to print that out we're gonna call this function 5 comma 4 and this looks very weird um, you'll notice that we never actually store this function with any variable name uh, we're just defining it and then calling it immediately and printing out the result of that so let's execute this and look we get the same thing 9